Number 11, Antonio Mari, the winner of the Minstrel Stakes at 20 to 1. Bred at the Trimblestown Stud. One of two representatives of Miko Tool who won the opener this afternoon and who, of course, has Bustinetto as well. So it's Wolver Heights in. And Paddy Powell, the starter, very nearly has them all in now. This is all to go. Gap of Dunlow is to go. And then Shergar. All in. Now, Gap of Dunlow. The French Derby third. It's coped by Sassafras and young 18-year-old Serge Gourley. Walked the course earlier, found it very firm indeed, but he said, my horse will like it, will appreciate the ground. And Shergar will be the last of the 12 installed for the 1981 Irish Sweeps Derby. That's it. They're all in, under starter's orders, and they're away. And away to a good even break with cut above on the inside. The first to show, Shergar, right up with him, too, in the early stages. Wolver Heights is the back marker, and it's cut above from Baz Bombatti and Shergar. Then comes Jolier and Kirtling behind them, Gap of Dunlow. Behind Gap of Dunlow is Crowned Hare, and then comes Orr. Then Dance Bid, Bustinetto and Wolver Heights. And cut above, Willie Carson making it from Shergar on the inside of Baz Bombatti with Jolly Air up there. And then comes Kirtling and Crowned Hair. Behind uh, Crowned Hair is Gap of Dunlow, then Dance Bid and Orr. And then Young Kildare. And the back markers are the stable companions, Bustinetto and Wolver Heights. And still Willie Carson making it on cut above from Jolly Air. Lester on the inside, close on Shergar. Towards Shergar's outside is Kirtling. Just on the outside of them come Crowned Hair. And then Baz Bombatti, Wolver Heights and Bustinetto are still the back markers. They've passed these seven furlong poles. Still cut above in the lead from Jolly Air. Then on the inside, Shergar. On Shergar's outside is Kirtling making a forward move there. Just in behind them, Crowned Hair. Behind Crowned Hair is Gap of Dunlow. Orr is dropping back. Wolver Heights is the back marker. They're racing towards the six furlong pole. And as they do so, it's still cut above in the lead for England. From Kirtling also for England in second. Shergar for England is third, then comes Crowned Hair on the outside, Young Kildare's not far behind the leaders, then Jolier, then Dance Bid, Baz Bombatti has dropped back to last, race towards the half mile pole now, and as they do so, it's still on the inside, Willie Carson on cut above from Pat Eddery on Kirtling, just in behind them comes Shergar, then Orr making good progress, they're rounding the home turn now into the straight. Three furlongs to run, and Shergar has come there to take it up. Shergar and Lester Piggott towards the right of the picture now was taken up running from Kirtling, cut above, then comes Orr, behind Orr, and making good ground is Gap of Dunlow. They're inside the final two furlongs, and Shergar has streaked into the lead from Kirtling in second, then comes Gap of Dunlow, producing a good run, cut above, hanging on over on the far side, but racing down to the furlong pole, lengthening his stride. Lester Bigger looking over his left shoulder sees no possible danger whatsoever. Striding up to win this. Ears pricked. He's only in an exercise canter. He's won the Irish Beach Derby in a canter. Second cut above and third gap and down low. Four is Kirtling and then all behind them. The third rather was Dance Bid. Four then comes gap and down low. The one, two, three. Shergar cut above and Dance Bid. They're the one, two, three in the Irish Sweeps Derby. And what what an amazingly comfortable triumph for Shergar. He just cantered to the front to win in the most impressive, dazzling style, never even shaken up. Shergar, the fifth winner for Lester Pickett of the Irish Sweeps Derby, gets an immediate quote of 15 to 8 on from uh, the Coral Organization for the King George VI and Queen Elizabeth Diamond Stakes, 2 to 1 on with Ladbrokes for the Ascot Showpiece in July. And there he is, there's the third just behind him uh, dance bid. And so uh, the result of the 1981 Irish Sweeps Derby, first number 10, Shergar, owned by His Highness the Aga Khan, trained by Michael Stout, Michael's first uh, classic victory in Ireland with his third runner and ridden by Lester Pickett. Second. And second.
second was cut above number four owned by Sir John Astor, trained by Dick Hearn, ridden by Willie Carson. And third, number five, Dance Bid, owned by Mr. John B. Crook, trained by Dermot Weld, and ridden by Wallace Whitman. So, young Walters, Walter Swinburne's deputy, Lester Pickett, uh, here on this dazzling white face coat takes it up well outside the two furlong pole and Lester not applying any fraction of, ple of pressure just looking over his left shoulder two or three times as over on the left Willie's hard at work on cut above Wallace Winman coming there the sheepskin nose band on dance bid has run a very good race behind them gap of done low and awe but look at Shergar pulling up. He's won it without turning a hair. The most impressive success he could possibly have achieved. Shergar the winner. The starting price is as follows. First number.